Hi, I'm Natalie Carey. I'm a body positive personal trainer. And today I wanna to talk to you about my four ways to compliment somebody's fitness progress or achievements without referencing their appearance or their size. I think that fitness should be welcoming and inclusive to all shapes and sizes. So I try really hard to leave weight out of the conversation. My first tip on how to compliment somebody without talking about appearance is physical achievements. Every time I've got a client who finishes a workout program, I send them a report card, and that report card will show them if they've improved their bench press by five pounds, or if they've increased being able to hold their plank from 30 seconds to a whole minute, or I'll celebrate that they showed up and completed every single one of their assigned workouts. So this is a great way to celebrate your fitness clients' achievements and their progress without mentioning their appearance by focusing on what they were capable of doing during their workout program. My second tip for paying compliments without mentioning appearance is to recognize progress. Whenever I start working with a new client, I always ask them right up front, what's the goal that they're working on or what are their goals that they're working on? And then I look out for opportunities to see how they've progressed in that way. So I might notice that the first week that we tried a single leg balance with someone whose goal is improving their balance, maybe the second week, it's easier for them, maybe they were able to do more repetitions, maybe they weren't as shaky, and I'll tell them, hey, it looks like you've improved on this exercise already. That's really amazing that we've made progress in only a week or two. My third way to compliment somebody that doesn't have anything to do with appearance is acknowledging really great personality traits. I love people, which means I love noticing things about people that I admire or personality traits that I really value. And so I will look for all these opportunities to compliment people on, on things that I think they do or that are about them that I think are cool. So for instance, I'll tell a client, I really admire your willingness to try new exercises or I'll tell somebody, I really appreciate your dedication to showing up for all of your workouts. So even just paying somebody a compliment based on something that they do or something about them um, can be like really flattering to that person. My fourth tip on how to compliment somebody that has nothing to do with their appearance is to find out their love language. If you're not familiar with the five love languages, there are quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, physical touch, and acts of service. And then a lot of people argue that food is the sixth love language. So I like to find out what people's love languages are and then I like to show them appreciation or pay them compliments in the style in which they receive love. So if somebody says that they receive love through physical touch, then I'll make sure during our workouts to give them a lot of high fives to reinforce that I think that they are valuable and succeeding. If you can relate to that statement, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because that's what it's all about on here. Thank you. If you're asking yourself, how can I compliment somebody without bringing their weight or appearance into the equation, you are already way ahead of a lot of other people. You're already starting to think about something that's a really sensitive topic to people. And you may have noticed that oftentimes if we compliment somebody, the typical most common compliment is, you look like you've lost weight. Right, we give that compliment all the time to people as a society. And then also we tend to tell young girls, you are so pretty or you're so beautiful. And so a lot of women and young girls start to equate their worth with their attractiveness or with their physical appearance. These types of compliments reinforce the idea that someone's appearance is the only valuable thing about them, and that's not true. I'm typically working with a lot of people who are recovering from eating disorders, who have a dysfunctional relationship with exercise, or who just have a really negative body image. So I wanna make sure that we are together working to dissociate worth from appearance. There is a whole world of compliments out there. We just gotta look for them. If you have more ideas on how to pay compliments to people without making reference to their appearance, please leave it in the comments below. I love learning new ways to appreciate other people. My name's Natalie Carey. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe, and thank you for being excellent to yourself.